Hello everyone, this will be a short overview of my plugin Manuel that is available on Unreal Engine Marketplace. This is, this is the demo level of the plugin. I will start the, the project and I will show you some features. And let's open it on the new window. Yeah. So right now we have the we have the player, and once we click C or left shift, it will it will open the menu widget. So right now I will I will click the C button, and this is the once I'm holding the C button, the menu is visible. But if I release it, it will show. It will hide and the left shift works like if I click it, it will it will appear and if I click it again, it will it will hide. So I will open it and right now, like you see, once I hover the 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 button, the animations appear. Everything is fine, but once I select, once I click it, it will fire the function that is assigned to the button. This is of course presentation functions, so you can add and connect whatever you want. This is the simplest behavior of the menu, like the default one. You can edit the behavior here under the in the menu wheel component. You can use the dynamic selection. Dynamic selection works basically it's based on the angle of the mouse relative to the center of the viewport so right now like you can see i don't have to i don't have to directly select the 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 button it will automatically calculate the the selection for me based on the angle and if i release uh, release the the button i'm pressing right now the c it will automatically fire the event on that button I'm hovered I'm hovering there is a configuration that automatically uh, put my mouse in the on the center when I'm opening the when open opening the widget I can I can select it here This is like the dynamic hover hover behavior, but we can like force require to click. So basically it works like the same way, but right now we have to we have to click the button. The, this one I think is the most this one and the default one is the most like um, the most important one. You can you can add dynamically more buttons and everything will be fine the selection will be correct and those can be used by exposed functions for you in any times buttons can be removed as well and it will also be fine you can edit like anything of starting from the color of the shape of the buttons whatever you like the buttons looks like the buttons are just widgets that can be added from here you can create a multiple types of buttons and that can be assigned to the button itself to the button data from example here this is the m uh, Menu with example number one, this is that button, but we can assign the, the different button class so it will have like different, ho it may have like different hover effect or click effect or maybe something else is happening once we are hovering that button. This can be also configured in this plugin. This plugin also support support gamepad everything is configured via the enchantment input system from the unreal engine you can edit uh, basic stuff like selection previous button next button 
the the gamepad works like the uh, the the game but the gamepad works based on the angle of the thumbstick so uh so this is the more convenient use of that but you can edit the confirmation button key what else let's open the demo controller so i will show you how to async the the buttons so basically from event begin play we are initializing the manual component here i just assigned the stuff i showed you the c show menu and high menu the left shift is like show height menu the toggle between there is a once i press one there is an example that will add the button on so i press two there is another example that i remove the button we can also clear all the buttons and here are the bindings so basically we are getting the our component we are getting the manual button by tag and we can async that like here uh, let's open the buttons like here the button tag button tag sample 01 from the presentation and here we can we are getting that button and we are we have to bind to the on click menu button handler and i have like a signal the demo spawn just for presentation purpose and i think that's it yeah if you have any questions about this plugin you can ask me here in the comments on or join to the discord i will be happy to answer all your questions there will be link in the descriptions for the product link on the unreal engine marketplace and thank you for watching, thank you for watching and goodbye.